Hey everyone, Ricky Halen Field Farm, day 82 of our 100 day homestead challenge. Feeding everybody real quick. We just fed the goats. Ooh. There we go. Cats up there, pretty interested in the chickens. Hello ladies. Right. Big food. It's a little damp this morning. Definitely not as wet as it was yesterday though. Hello pigs. Hello pigs. Yes. Good morning. Uh -huh. Come on. Get in there. I did move that water drum up on the hill yesterday and I was trying that's the rabbit hutch it's not for kitties you got the baby chicks Yeah, so I set I moved the big water tote over there and I had the right fitting, but I couldn't get the fitting off of our pump handle. So and I tried and tried. So I do have to just pick up a new fitting and then uh, we should be good to go. I'll try to get that today. But today I'm going to get those uh the watermelon that's down in the greenhouse transplanted into some containers and I'm gonna try growing them that way we have a bunch of the, the pots from uh, the fruit trees so I'm gonna repurpose those and uh, come on maybe Yeah, we're gonna repurpose the uh, pots from the fruit trees, and I'm gonna use them to transplant the watermelons into. All right, so down the greenhouse, we have all of these watermelons to transplant. I'm probably only gonna do like three per pot, and that'll still leave us some. Um, but I've got to get them out somewhere, and I'm running out of garden space, so. I'm gonna do that. Beet seeds. And then, so I'm gonna get these filled up real quick. And then, uh, I'll get those planted. Alright, I got them all filled up. The mosquitoes are out in force this morning. So, I'm gonna uh, do this as quickly as I can. So, 
I went back to work a couple weeks ago and well, let me back up a little bit so when we bought this place me and Sarah were both working full-time and I was working on building the house um, you know every morning and then on my days off um, until it, it was done and then continued to work until the fall and then my company that I was working for restructured and I was offered the chance to take severance pay and after 20 something years of working in retail I decided it was a uh, it was time so while well, we decided we talked it over with Sarah and that had given me the ability to basically be home for about six months while I got everything up and going and um, but then severance money ran out and you know had to go back to work because we're not where we need to be just yet and it has been a struggle um, it's not like the job's hard it's not being able to be here where I want to be because we're trying to build something that's sustainable to the point where we won't have to work or at least not work you know like we're working um, but it's tough because you know your your soul pretty much just wants to be here you know on, on the farm and uh, when you're away all day all you do is really worry and, and it's it's been tough it's been taking an adjustment um, but we I mean we do have plans in place and hopefully by the end of winter we'll uh, I'll be able to just focus on this and uh, you know, get the farm up and running the way it needs to be um, because if you're putting all your effort somewhere else you're not um, you're not going to succeed trying to build something something else up and I get it you got to do what you got to do um, but if that's taking all your energy away from say running a farm by working a full-time job you know you, you can't always do both and now again, it's one of those things you got to do what you got to do uh, to make sure everything is going right. Uh, but it's tough; it, it really is. Um, you know, I have suffered with depression for years, and I've tried medication after medication, and nothing has um, ever worked. Um, it all has bad side effects, and I don't take to it well. Um, it, it's just nothing this is the only thing that has helped it's it's really the only thing that has brought me joy and uh, it's it can be a tough road when you're facing depression and uh, I've had good days and I've had bad days and I've had really bad days um, but this this is what eases that and I'm not saying there's not stress and you don't have bad days still um, because you do um, but overall I mean just the lifestyle alone um, you know it's just so much healthier for you for your mind and your body and your spirit it really is just get rid of life's stresses <sighs> Because I can be gone all day and stress and worry and everything else and I get home and a lot of that just alleviates because I'm home and I'm here and I'm happy it's where I want to be so but all right so I've got those four done um, I think I have enough to do one more but I'm gonna 
probably get out of the mosquitoes for a bit. Because these guys are a little crazy. The greenhouse is warming up quick. Oh. And then Sarah's going to get in the garden today with her daughter and do some weeding. Hopefully clean a lot of that right up. Because um, it needs it. You know, all that was nutrients that go to the vegetables and not the weeds. So, And then uh, I think tomorrow we'll be picking up the rest of the plants for the other four rows. Uh, I know I couldn't remember what it was yesterday. I'll probably forget now, but uh, we're going to do spinach, summer squash, cabbage. There was one more. <laughs> it's early. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, so we'll have this wrapped up by the end of the week. Sh sh they're going to get in here and do a lot of weeding while I'm gone today. And then uh, potatoes are coming along nicely. You know, I don't know that we'll get 50 pounds, maybe 30, maybe 20. But I mean, you can see this whole side is just all leaves. You know, this one too. I know this one's starting to pop a little bit. Better late than never. And this one's doing coming along. Uh, not so much on the lower stuff, but definitely some stuff on top. So we're gonna get what we get. It's all an experiment. We'll uh, see what happens. So, so I'm gonna get that part for the water tank and get that done this afternoon. Sarah's gonna get the garden weeded, and then she's gonna put in a call to the state, find out what we need to do for a farmer's market. Um, because we would like to start that around Father's Day weekend. And even though we may not have any vegetables to sell at that time, I think it'd be good. I think it'd be good for the community um, to have a place where they can set up and sell their produce. And it, it'll be good for not just this community, but outside communities that don't have anything close by. So hopefully we can get the answers we need and then uh, we can start advertising and get a plan in place to get a farmer's market going in, in the around Father's Day weekend. So that's only like three weeks from now. So um, hopefully she gets the answer today because there'll be a lot to do, a lot of planning, a lot of organizing. So, but all right. So, yep, that's it for day 82. I uh, got those watermelons planted I still have more to do but I'm gonna take a break from these mosquitoes go get my head net probably a longer sleeve shirt on and then she's gonna get the garden weeded all our animals are fed it's gonna be a gorgeous day so, I think they said some thunder showers tomorrow so, and then uh, yeah the well guy haven't heard from him but he said he'd be here this week so I have faith he will be I'm thinking he'll probably be here Friday. I think that's the way he was leaning towards. So, uh, and then hopefully we'll get this farm stand wrapped up and we'll go from there. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.